So a look at the baby Rock Strix. Now, yes, it's gonna be for Coffee Lake, but uh, it's the first ITX board that I've had come through the door, so I thought it was worth a preview. Now, I've got a lot of other boards that I need to do, and if you are interested in any of them, I have done uh, other previews on the channel from the other brands as well. There's only one that hasn't uh, started to arrive yet, but we'll, you know, We'll, we'll see how we get on. Anyway, so it is the baby ITX Z370, because obviously we're talking about Coffee Lake. There will be no performance chit chat in this review because that is still under NDA until the 5th of October. But on the 5th of October, that'll be when the main review will go live for this board. Um, having a look inside the packaging, what we do get is your usual um, uh, manual. You get your driver CD, oh, you've got some stickers, cable identifying tags, some other ROG stuff. That actually looks to be about the sort of size that you could put on a coaster. But anyway, so you've got some stickers and stuff inside. Four SATA cables, let's see what this is. Uh, this is a um, addressable connector. So this is addressable RGB, so you've got connector one and, and then the other bit for the addressable on the board. So this is just so that it will plug straight into your RGB connector. You can get um, RGB or the addressable RGB kit from Cable Mod as well if you're interested. Got the back plate here, then you do have a strange cable and what you do is you plug this into the board and then on the other end it gives you all of your hard drive, activity lights, power LED, power switch. In fact, look, we can zoom you in so you can see. Zoom, zoom, zoom. There we go. Although the reset switch looks a bit pale. Anyway, so that's that side of it. Look how small and cute it is. Oh. Anyway, so you've got your uh, Wi-Fi Go connections around the side and you do get an antenna that comes with it and it sits on your desk and it gives you kind of like a shark's fin style thing. Now, what we can do is uh, give you a look around the board. Now, this uh, is your chipset heatsink, but also underneath there is an M.2 connector as well. And the M.2 connector does have some thermal uh, pad on the other side of the heatsink so it can transfer heat between the two. You do get another one around the back though, but obviously if it's around the back, unless you've got a massive section around your ITX motherboard cut out, it would be difficult for you to change it. But where the screws are in the very edges of the board, if you wanted to get your Dremel out one weekend, you could easily cut enough out of the back because you're probably going to have a cutout for your CPU uh, back plate anyway, you could easily extend it so that you could get access to your M.2 around the back as well. And it genuinely, if you've already got a CPU cutout on your board, then you're probably gonna, it's only gonna take you sort of like five or 10 minutes to be able to do it. It'll only be the cases where the board is laying flat and you've got the power supply right behind, that might be an issue. But anyway, so other things to have a look at around the board, USB 3.1 up in this top left-hand corner, eight pin. 24 pin, two SATAs, two more SATAs. You can see that you've got your addressable RGB connector here. You can tell it's addressable because there's only three pins. Addressable is three pins, normal RGB is four pins, and I'm not seeing any normal RGB on this at all. There is a fan header there that you can see, and there's another one up there, and I believe, scanning around just quickly, that it is just those two. Um, one thing that we can say is up in this top left hand corner, and is, this is something that you're going to end up probably wanting to write down, but it's the order of those um, LEDs at the top and that gives you an idea on what stage the post is at. So the fact that we've not got a uh, sort of like an LCD or an LED poster readout, that is kind of handy to kind of, it's better than nothing. You can also see that we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight phases around the outside of the board, and the heat sinks are not puny, tiny little things. I mean, I've seen um, boards with just that many power phases in the past, but with a heat sink like less than half the size. So the fact that we've got all of the extra material, there's quite a lot of surface area going on there as well. Hopefully, they will not get too hot. But like I said, ITX, itty bitty baby rig. But I can do something quite f funky with this now. So while I was at Asus, the other day, I did end up borrowing 
long-term borrowing anyway, a magic cable that means I can light the LEDs up. So the LEDs are all around the back of the board and it does kind of help because it means I can pick the board up and uh, wave it around to show you. When we put it back on the stand, you get an idea of the effect that you're going to get inside of your case. Now I've got no CPU in there or anything like that. And the mad thing is, if I did put a CPU in it and lit it up, because it'd be running, I would be breaking NDA. So this little cable is a bit of a lifesaver. But that's really the end of the video because we've, we've done the lights now. There's not much more I can say about it. But don't forget, if you are interested in the Z370 boards, you can go and have a look at other previews that I've got live on the channel now. Uh, have a look at Rush Kit as well because we might put some boards up on Rush Kit. Also, what you can um, do is go and have a look at Instagram. Uh, and most importantly, come back and check on the 5th of October when all of the full reviews will be live, including the CPUs.